For a lot of people, the first instinct when collecting data from a Google form into their spreadsheet is to start sorting it out and removing items that they don't want. I always recommend to people don't sort your original data because quite often people will highlight two columns out of three and only sort those two pieces of data. And what ends up happening is now all your information is corrupted. What I'm going to show you today is how we can make use of filters to not only filter out and show just the data we want, but also sort some of that information. The document that I have here is one for a series of blogs that I've been responsible for removing. So the status shows us right now which one of these are actually still alive and what is the action to take on some of these blogs. Because some of them have created them, but then they don't actually maintain them, so we have to get rid of them. So the action to take is delete. Now, I don't care about the ones where we mark email because someone else is going to be uh, emailing that later. I'm only concerned about removing these things. So I only want to see the delete uh, actions. So I'm going to start off by selecting all the columns information. By clicking the top left hand corner in this white spot, it selects all the different columns. Now, we'll start off by clicking on the filter function here. The filter function puts these little filter arrows in. And when you click on that, it's going to display the contents of all the cells that are in here. Now, right now, the only options that we have are blanks, delete, and email. But if you had a larger collection of items, one of each of those items would show up there. In this case, we only have these. I'm going to clear everything out. And I'm going to say I only am interested in the items that I need to delete. So we'll click on that. Now, I also see there's some have been deleted. I don't care about those ones. They've already been done. So I'm going to go into the filter here and I'm going to say, you know what, just show me the ones where the status, they're still alive. And I now have a list of all the different items that are available. The problem though, with the way we've done this right now is that when we're working with Google Forms or sorry, Google Sheets, and we're sharing this document with someone else, if the two of us are working on the same screen, Whenever I filter and have this view in front of me, it's also going to change the view of the person who else is sharing this. And this could cause quite a lot of confusion. So one of the things that we're going to talk about is something called filtered views. So I'm going to turn this filter off function off for now. I'm going to start all over by selecting this data. We'll go over to the funnel, but we're going to click on this drop down arrow and we're going to create a new filtered view. Now here we're going to do exactly the same thing we did before. I'm going to go in, select my items. And I'm going to save this call, uh, save this as a live but need deletes. Now notice what's going to happen here when I go back and I select none. I've got all my records showing again. Keep in mind when you're filtering something, what you're basically saying is hide everything except what I want to see. So your data doesn't disappear or anything like that. When we have a filtered view, if I go and select this, it only works for me and it doesn't affect the work that anyone else is doing at that time. So this filtering we see here is only for me, but other people can make use of it. A nice thing about this is because it's a temporary view, I can do one other thing too. I can go in and I can say sort this from A to Z. Notice now everything's in alpha, uh, chronological alphabetical order, but the moment that I go and turn this off, it's going to revert back to the way it was. So you'll notice that Ducker L here is number nine, but when I turn off this filter, Ducker L is now in a number three spot. So when I go in here and apply this, what I then can do is go in and correct these. So I've gone through now and I've deleted all these. So the status now is going to be changed. I can just quickly fill down knowing that when I do this fill down here, it's only going to affect whatever rows are being displayed, not the ones that are hidden. And so when I turn that filter off, the stuff that wasn't uh, that was emailed and wasn't set to delete has not been overwritten with this file and our, our order of the stuff has gone back to the way it was. So that's a simple case of using the filters. Now let's take it something a little more advanced. What we see here is a sign up form that's been created with people able to choose from different workshop sessions and different dates. And I've got a list of all the different people in order of how they were submitted. So everything's kind of a jingle jamble mess of it. What I want to do is I want to have a listing that shows me all the different courses that happened in October. So we're just going to be sorting pretty much on the date. I'm just going to highlight the date because that's all I really need for this. And I'm going to, I'm going to go into here into my filter view and I'm going to create a new filter view. Now, the first thing I want to do is I only want October. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to clear all this 
and I'm going to type in the word October. You'll notice here now I've got a whole list of all the different options available and they're not in any order, just in the order that they were originally submitted. If I start to talk, uh, put in October, it's going to show me the choices that are currently available and I could select October 4th, 14th or 28th. However, I want this report to show me any time any new ones come in. So there might be a date like October 29th that I haven't covered in this session already that I want to make sure shows up in this report. Instead of filtering by values, we're going to go to filter by condition. This is a little more advanced and a lot of people miss it, but it has got some great power in it. What I'm going to do now is when the text in that cell contains October, that's what it's going to display. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice we have a list here of all the different items. Watch what happens now when I go and add in a new item. So there's my new workshop. I'm going to go back into here and hit on my filter that I've created. Notice October 29th is still in that list. If I had just done it the way we did last time, October would not have shown up because it was not one of the options that we chose from. Again, if I want to with this setup, I can also sort the information based on this. It will sort the whole thing and everything's in chronological order the way I want it, which is really great when I want to take a list to see who's done what. I can then go in and choose none and it brings my data back to originally the way it was.